Yo, what up everybody? The Tubers, we back for some more Kamigawa Draft here on Arena. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you all been enjoying the format, the draftees, everything else. Um, yeah. Let's jump right into pick one, pack one. We open it as Sokanzan, Crucible of Defiance. Uh, I think uh, Boseju is very, very good. Definitely a first pick quality. Uh, of the land cycle. I don't think the red one is something you want to first pick. Uh, we're looking at like Seismic Wave here. Decent removal spell. Uh, Arrest is pretty good. Jukai Trainee is decent. Virus Beetle, Moon Circuit Hacker. Mm. You know what? What if I go in forcing ninjas? Maybe we try something new. Maybe we force ninjas. Maybe we first pick this Moon Circuit Hacker. Hey! And then get past a Silver Fur Master because I am brilliant. Uh, got another Sokens on there, but whatever. Yeah, well, after first picking a Moon Circuit Hacker over better cards, I think uh, kind of locked into taking the Silver Fur here. Card's pretty good. It's got ninjutsu itself. Reduces the cost of all your other ninjutsus and then... Uh, of course, it acts as a lord for all of your humans, or sorry, your ninjas and rogues. Um, not much to say then. Yeah, seems like an easy pickup. Blue-black is the way we go, and yeah, another decent follow-up pack here. The Long Reach of Night has been pretty good. Apparently, this is a little bit bugged. Um, apparently, if you have no cards in your hand, you're supposed to be able to choose discarded cards still, instead of having to sack a creature, but... I guess how it is currently working is that, unfortunately, if you don't have a card to discard, you have to sack a creature, so... Um, makes it a little bit awkward to play with and against, but it is going to be the pick here, I think. Circuit Mender, always just a solid artifact choice. Unforgiving one, not terrible because of Menace, so it can enable some ninjutsu. Clawing Torment has been an all-star for me in... Um, the aggressive decks, whether it be like black, red, or black, blue. And then centipedes also fine. But yeah, we'll take the long reach of night. And get past. Gloom Shrieker is very, very good. 2-1 uh, menace for 3, that gets you a lot of value. You can't loop the Gloom Shriekers themselves, because if it dies, it exiles itself. But still quite a good one. Uh, for us, though, I think we're just going to take the Mukotai Ambusher. And uh, continue down the, the ninjutsu route. Uh, the most important cards to pick up for enabling are like the one drop flyer, the blue one drop that taps a creature down. I'll point it out if we see it as we get a, another clawing torment here or a modern age. Modern age is okay in this deck. It's not great. Um, you do get a flyer to enable some ninjutsu, but if you're buying back this saga, it's not like you're getting a ton of value, right? You're just getting a couple of loots, so... I don't think it's like a particularly necessary or high pickup. I'd actually rather just take the Clawing Torment number one here. Okay, well, another long reach of Night. Um, yeah, I mean, this card is solid. I know people don't like this one, but uh, I do think it's pretty good. Um, taking it over a You're Already Dead. Planner Incision's okay. Blade Blesser's okay, but we'll take another Saga there for sure into perhaps a Searchlight Companion. This is an okay one to enable ninjutsu, right? Because you get some extra value, but I don't think it's like all that impressive or anything, but I do think it's better than taking the Blade Blesser. Okay, oh, this is the one we're talking about. The Network Disruptor, 1-1 one, one Flying Rogue, that uh, has a lot of value too, because when it enters the battlefield, you can tap a permanent, permanent. So what you can do is attack with it, it's going to go unblocked because it's flying. You ninjutsu something in. And then you hold it, and on your next turn, you can tap a blocker down to let whatever you ninjutsued in, presumably it doesn't have flying, to get through. So we're going to actually take that over the Tamiyo's completion. A necessary one drop and a great enabler. We wield the virus beetle. That's fantastic. Another really, really good one to uh, ninjutsu back, obviously, if you can make the opponent discard more than one card with the same virus beetle. You're going to get pretty far ahead on value. Kaito's Pursuit, perhaps. This is not a terrible one. 
Um, I don't think it's great, though. It's gonna, it's gonna usually be the last card that makes the deck if you don't have enough playables, but in this format, from what I've seen, you're gonna end up with 20-plus playables going into pack 3, so... Yeah, another pretty good pack here for us. Pick 11, we have another Torment. That Centipede, and that Unforgiving one. Um, I kind of like taking the first Centipede here over the first Torment. I don't really care for the Unforgiving one, it's just that it has that menace. But, uh, <clears throat> there are better enablers, right? You don't want a 3-mana enabler, necessarily. You'd rather have 1-mana enablers like the Disruptor or 2-mana enablers. Good start, though. Fantastic. Planner Incision here is okay. Has a lot of value if you can get some of those, um, um, the ninjas that bounce when they enter the battlefield. Obviously good with Virus Beetle. It just serves to protect your creatures, and you, what, you can also flicker Saga creatures once they get to their final mode for some extra value there. Pretty good first pack. Uh, removal, we don't have that much, but pretty good blue-black quality overall. But yeah, I think, uh, we're now pushing past the pre-release phase of things, so the release event should be coming up this, this following weekend, so, uh, if you guys are looking for, for some sweet Kamigawa cards, um, maybe you want to get some sets and paper, or whatever, you can go to cardkingdom.com slash newmot. Check them out there. That helps me out. Shoutouts to them. Network Terminal and Akami of Industry. And we're not going to be playing either of those. But yeah, we have like 11 playables after pack one, so... Looking pretty good. Pack two. Oh man. Got a really powerful ninjutsu card here. The Spring Leaf Avenger. 6 5. When it deals combat damage to a player, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. I could try taking that and splashing it. I don't think that's the craziest idea. I mean, what am I taking here otherwise? Circuit Mender. Mnemonic Sphere. The problem is I would be splashing it off for its ninjutsu only. Because double green is not going to be viable. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, the ability is not that impressive. Eh, who am I kidding? Let's just take Circuit Mender here. I'm not going to try to talk myself into taking that. We have a really good blue-black start. We don't need to. Yeah, nice. We don't need to uh, get frisky. All right, we're going to take the Thousand Face Shadow. And the funny thing with this card is... Uh, more often than not, i found you're not really using the ninjutsu ability for this. You're just using this as a 1-1 flyer to enable your other ninjutsu. Now, the nice thing about that is once you attack with this, it goes unblocked, and you ninjutsu something else in, then you have it for later. But the majority of the time, this is just flying men, a 1-mana one 1-1 one flyer, you know, as an enabler. Uh, passing a replication specialist here, another really good one. And yeah, let's take it. Over Tactician. Oh, there's the specialist. This is the card that bounces I was talking about. We're gonna take that here. Not gonna try splashing the Oni Cult Anvil. Again, we're playing blue blacks. So we're not gonna have as many artifacts necessarily. Uh Covert Tactician uh Technician rather is okay. But I think this is still a specialist for the for the tempo and the beats. Let's see what else we get here. Mm, pretty weak pack. Our only real choice is like another centipede, which we don't even need. So I guess highest upside play. Just taking the Tranquil Cove here for potential white splashes. Bad pack for us. All right, so we have two one drop flyers. We have one, two, three, two drops. 
couple of three drops. These are hopefully cheaper from their ability. And then, yeah, top end long reach of knights kind of nice. As we get a... Okay, yeah, we got another network disruptor here versus a virus beater num uh, beetle number two versus Tawashi Guidebot. We're going to go with the flyer. We wield the first virus beetle from pack one, if I recall correctly, although that was in... Pick nine, so it's not highly likely we're gonna get the beetle back. But I still think the 1 1 flyer is better. Really, what we're looking for are like mo more moon circuit hackers to get the uh, extra card advantage. Because it feels so good when you get to ninjutsu, ninjutsu this in, right? As we pick up a potential modern age here. Undercity Scrounger is a good card, but I don't think it really fits the ninja deck all that much. Yep, Modern Age is fine. Another Moon, Spare, uh, Moon Snare Specialist is fantastic. This high Speed Hoverbike has also been really, really good for me, in fact. This is a really nice one with uh, Ninjutsu. You know, I wonder if that High Speed Hoverbike is actually a better pick than Specialist number two. I could actually see that being correct. Yeah. Because this is a really good one. Like, it has evasion, and then if you ninjutsu it, um, you get to tap down something again and again. So I kind of like that. But that was also a good sign that we saw that uh, specialist go around that late as we get a kunai here versus a familiar. Let's take a little bit of removal since I'm pretty low on that right now. And then this is our wheel pack. We did get it, the arrest on the wheel. Not going to take that Scrounger Apprentice, so maybe there's a small chance we play the Arrest. I did take that Tranquil Cove, after all. Uh, the Beetle was pick pack 5, right? Not highly likely to see that come back on the wheel. Okay, Suit Up we can use as a removal spell instead if we don't want to take the second Centipede. Right? All of, a lot of our creatures are pretty small, so making them a 4-5 that draws a card is not too bad. I'm okay with taking that over the second centipede. I think we've seen quite a few centipedes this pack, yeah, so... Not unlikely to get another. Don't think tactician is what we... or technician is what we want. Again, it's okay, but I don't think it really feels fills the role. Okay, looks like no beetle on the wheel. It's too bad. But, like I said, <laughs> 20 playables moving into pack 3, so in a really, really good spot. And we open some good stuff. All right, we have another Replication Specialist here. Fantastic card, although I don't know if it's going to want to... Well, I guess I do have 10 artifacts. Yeah, okay. I'm probably going to take it as just like one good top-end flyer. Gravelighter is another one that's been really, really good for me. Um, another Disruptor here. And then like a Dokuchi Shadow Walker. But we do have 10 artifacts at the moment, so I guess it's going to be okay to take the Specialist. And probably end up wheeling the Disruptor. Futurist Operative. It's a good card. I actually think the Okiba Reckoner Raid is better for this deck. Passing a Lethal Exploit. Yep, we're taking the one drop. This has been a huge overperformer for me. And the creature that you get is Menace as well, so it's pretty easy to ninjutsu off of that and then rebuy the uh, raid. And get some more ping value there. Uh, we can probably get away with 16 land with the, with the current build of things. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Tatsunori, Toad Rider. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, if you don't control... Blah, 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 three, three, whenever. You, so how many enchantments are we at? Six right now? That's pretty good. Passing another Grave Lighter and an Ambusher, but 3 mana 3 3 that can potentially make another 3 3. And it has Evasion. Yeah, that's that's going to be the choice. Probably just cutting that Searchlight Companion now. Take Numa, Abandon Mire. Discard it, mill 3 cards, return a creature or planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand. Um, that doesn't look necessary, but honestly, Prosperous Thief isn't like super amazing or anything. It's just annoying to play against. 
I wouldn't be surprised if like the puzzle maker or the second kunai are better choices here. I mean, I'll take the thief, but I don't know if that's correct. As we get a leech gauntlet, it's a pretty good one. Passing a fifth pick kami flare. Oh well. Ooh, another hover bike. Wow, actually, this pack is insane for us. Pick six. Hover bike, another raid, a twisted embrace. I gotta go with the removal spell. That's really, really good. I think I'm cutting what the suit up now instead. Jeez. Man, these three picks are all fantastic, but uh, it's gotta be the removal, sadly. Okay, another Reckoner raid. Wow. Completion as well, but yeah. Okay, this deck is nutty. Jeez Louise, eighth pick. Another specialist, another thief, return to action, kunai. We are in the right spot to be, my friends. Uh, So what are we cutting now? Wow, this is rough. Too many good cards as we... Man, wield the Kami Flare too is crazy, but... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I might actually cut these Centipedes now. They're really good with, like, my Flyers, but... I don't know if we have room anymore. Wield the Lethal Exploit too. Jeez Louise. Oh, man. Obviously, this is not a bad problem to have. Too many playables. So, 10 artifacts for the specialist. 8 enchantments for the Tatsunari. More centipedes, why not? Oh, God. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, even that last pick, 5-drop, is not terrible. So doesn't that return a ninja from my graveyard to my hand or something? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I can probably cut the incision, I think. Actually, no, that's way too good with what I have. Alright, so let's move these down for their ambush costs, ninjutsu costs. Let's see. Okay, you know what? Leech Gauntlet doesn't actually have that much synergy in this deck, so that's probably a cut. It's just a good 2-drop, but it only does stuff with Specialist. Um, I'm at 9 artifacts. I think we're cutting at least one of the Centipedes. Boy, this is tough, though. I mean, the Modern Age is really only that good with Tatsunori, but I do have eight other enchant or 7 other enchantments, so... That's probably a cut. And then why do I feel like Circuit Mender could be a cut here as well? Again, this is just a standalone really powerful card, or really good card. But it doesn't really have synergy in my deck. Hmm. This ninjutsu is too... Yeah, I think I might actually be cutting the Circuit Mender. So, the thing is, yes, when this leaves the battle battlefield, such as away from Ninjutsu, you get to draw a card, but how frequently is a 2-3 going unblocked, you know? Maybe I just don't need the Centipede. Okay. Maybe I'll cut the centipede. Seven artifacts, seven enchantments. 
Good enough for Specialist, good enough for Tatsunori. I think 16 lands should be okay here, but this deck is really good though. I think 16 lands is okay. My average cut curve isn't too high. This deck looks really good. Maybe missing a little bit of removal, but we have a bunch of bounce and tempo, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is a 7-win quality deck. We'll see if the, uh, the matches play out that way, but... I do think this is a 7-win quality one. We're on the draw. Alright, this hand's not great, but it's a keep. Circuit Hacker probably makes this a little bit better. His opponent has a Goro Goro. Okay, that card's insane. 2-2 two, two for 2. Gives your other creatures haste. And then if you have modified creatures, you can make a 5-5. Five, five, so, pretty brutal there. It does take a long time to get active, though. Oh, that's a way to modify. So the question is, okay, they are going to hit me for four. I was going to say, are they going to let me get in now? And we're pretty happy with that, right? Because now we get to attack. So I think what I do here... Is I hit them for two, get the loot. or Yeah, get the loot ability. I think I'm going to discard the... Specialist here. Oh, actually, no. What's my play that next turn? Maybe it's Virus Beetle, because we're not really bouncing. Okay, so maybe discard the Virus Beetle now. And then after that, now we Ninjutsu in. And that way we still get the loot, but we also got the bounce ability. Set them back a little bit. That's really good for us if they're just replaying that. That's a great draw. Alright, so we can go like this now. It's attack for two. If they block, we're obviously okay with that. This doesn't make any sense. So hold full control. Flash out the hacker. Draw a card. Now we can re even re ninjutsu our specialist if we want to bounce their Goro Goro again. But I th think it might just be better to go to second main phase, go Okiba. And just pass. Go for lethal exploit on there, Goro. Light the way, put a 1 1 counter on it. Interesting. Okay. I mean, we can just rebounce it next turn. Sure, that's fine. Well, that's a good draw, too. Yeah, so we do need to bounce this turn. 
Because if we don't, they can potentially uh, get the dragon. Maybe I should have just done that same play last turn. Maybe I should have flashed in the uh, circuit hacker and then reflashed in the specialist. They're passing. Okay. Well, I'm guessing they're gonna use a removal spell of some variety here, but I don't mind just attacking and seeing what they do. Oh, this is a wrath. I see. So they have Farewell in their deck, is my guess. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm okay to just buy back my Specialist. I don't care if the Thousand Face Shadow dies, and they can't kill this with a 4 damage Intervention card. Oh, they just have Wandering. Sure. I hope you're ready to lose. That's fine, too. Funny thing, Twisted Embrace kills uh, Planeswalkers. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Sure. We've got the edge in this they only have one red available. I mean, they know I have this bounce in my hand. Wait, I'm confused. I have Menace, I can just attack and kill that. And this way I don't get blown out by Surge if they have it. Um. Yeah, we'll just pass priority. will cross again I think I want to just get the 3 4 online. They need another land next turn to be able to um suit up the Goro Goro and make a dragon. Because right now, if they just attack and make a dragon, they know I have bounce in my hand, and that's a chump attack. I figure even if they do make a dragon, we have the specialist anyways, right? Sure. They get to exile the top card of their library, and they can play it for the turn. It's fine. No blocks. Only one card left in their hand. And it's only two white mana? What's the safest play? Man, we have so many plays, but I think getting rid of the Goro Goro completely is probably the best line, huh?
And then I'm going to go ahead and run out the kunai, even though we lose that little bit of specialist value. Alright, I take three. They get to play a card off the top again. That's fine. Sure. Can I kill them this turn? Not quite. Four, five, six, seven. I don't think I can kill them this turn, right? Yeah, because there's no way to tap that and do that other way. What we can do is attack with both ninja, bounce the subduer, hit him for six, replay the raid, gain a life. I guess I could still actually lose this game, couldn't I? Oh, maybe this was a bad play. I should have left. I should have just attacked in the air and played like double circuit mender. Hmm. I feel like I might have punted away. Because there are ways to add 5 damage. Why did I think this was a better play? I don't know. Oh my gosh, that could have been very bad. Alright, oof. Yeah, that was... That last turn was played really loose. Hmm. So I think I just attack in the air. Or maybe even just attack with a 2-2 Menace and lead back the 4-5 Flyer. And then play Circuit Mender, copy Circuit Mender. That gains me 4 life and gives me such a wide board. Anyway, at least we got to showcase the uh, the value of all the ninjutsu. And remember, you can re-ninjutsu after the first ninjutsu if you want to. Mana. Mana, the only thing in the way there. You can also wait until post-damage, right? Like we waited for the hacker to trigger first to get the card draw ability. And then after the loot happened, we uh, re-triggered again. Okay, we are on the draw. This hand looks fine. Yeah, now we just need to draw a blue source and we should be good to go. Perfect. Turn three, bearer of memory. Alright. Go ahead and just equip and pass. Another bearer of memory. Do we want to trade here? Don't think so. Seems like it's better probably just to tempo this turn or get the long reach of night online. Bounce our raid, bounce their bearer, replay the raid. Mm. 
I think they might have the plus one, plus one trick that uh, my previous opponent had. This is really inefficient. We really wanted to draw something to do this turn. I guess I'm just going to play out the kunai and pass. Because I can't play this out and activate the kunai. But this way I can block one, shoot the other. They pump the one that I block or whatever. Yikes. Alright, well, now I'm going to have to try to shoot that one and hope it works. Wow. Oh, they had a different trick. I'm taking 11 here. Holy smokes. What the hell? Okay. The hacker was actually a good draw. Alright, so let's hold full control. Back for two. Get our hacker in. Nope, they messed up. I get to re ninjutsu now. <laughs> this is why versus ninjas you don't wait until after declaring blockers or yeah, anyway. I think I go for a double block here. Yep. Yeah. Because they don't have six mana to pump with the bearer itself. That's fine. Sure. Circuit Mender was a pretty good draw. So definitely attacking here. Now we can ninjutsu that for four and then re-ninjutsu in the specialist if we want to. Because this is flipping, so they're not going to get that ability anymore. Uh, I guess we could just hit for two. Make them discard a card. And then play the Mender. So they can pump here, though. Let's see. I think we just take. They're probably going to pump anyways. <clears throat> that was a good draw. Wait, wait. Oh, they like the card in their hand that much? Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. So what can I do here? That's scary. So I could ninjutsu this, replay it, go back up to four, go block, block. It's probably the right, because we don't want to ninjutsu this, I couldn't recast it. This is four, right? Yeah, so let's... card. 
Oh, interesting. Let the mender go to four. No, I think I play a secondary blocker now and hold up the hover bike. Because this way, if they have a singleton removal spell, I don't lose. Oh, wait. Did they just kill themselves? So now they can't give trample for the turn. Play the mender, go back up to four. Crew the hover bike. Smashing with everything. They have to chump the five five and still take five. I don't know what that was. Alright. Again. Kind of playing a little bit sloppy, but man, the power of level of this deck, you can just tell. So much synergy. So many different interesting lines. Especially when you have the options to ninjutsu multiple creatures, right? Bounce one thing, play another, bounce another thing, do another thing, you know. Gotta find the gotta find the small edges, the correct small edges. What is right and what is wrong? <laughs> Good news is ninjas in this format are not nearly as impre uh rather oppressive as they were in uh, Modern Horizons. If you ever played Modern Horizons, you'll know how much that was the ninja format. Our hand is insane. Easy keep. And yeah, if our opponent doesn't have a uh, creature to block the virus beetle on turn two, they are going to be in a world of hurt. Do they discard a commune? All right. They do. They have a dog. Sure. Another raid, huh? That's pretty good. Let's play the kunai and equip it to the beetle and pass. Commune with the spirits. What you gonna get? Somehow they don't hit a land or enchantment, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, is that both Seiju? Very nice. Okay. Go ahead and attack for two menace. And then bounce the raid, hit him for two, rebuy our raid, drain them for another one. And hold up beetle activation. Okay. I mean, they could have the 6-5 ninja, but that doesn't matter. Oh, sure. Uh, they can rebuy their spirit... Companion. That's fine. Go ahead and shoot the Kami out. That's pretty good. Attack with both. Ninjutsu, ninjutsu our beetle. Get a treasure. Hit him for six. 
<laughs> uh, this is a stupid value. I mean, what are they going to do? We do have to be a little bit careful of, like, the farewell card. That's exactly what we wanted. Alright, just one big stupid creature. This was a complete beating. Jeez Louise. Yeah. That's how I expect our games to go. The first two games were actually kind of a little bit scary because I played maybe loosely. But that there was never really any chance there was there. <laughs> uh, I hope you're all learning the power of the freaking raid card, that one mana black saga. Like the the drains are add up and are relevant. The 2-2 two -two menace is super good for enabling. Yeah. We even got to buy back the virus beetle. That was good. It hasn't been a performer yet. I think everything's done pretty well. Because I have so many different cards I could have in my sideboard, right? I think maybe one of the suit-ups should be in the deck. It's just an extra way to push in a fatty. Or rather, push in one of our small creatures into a fatty. But On the draw. We have Tatsunori and an enchantment with it. Yeah, we can do better than this. I think you could keep this on the draw and it wouldn't be terrible, but we can do better. That is not better. Wow. Well, I got punished for mulliganing the first hand. I'm going to go to five here. That's decent. I mean, I wonder if Clawing Torment is better than Twisted Embrace in this scenario. It actually might be. Alright. It's not a terrible five, but... Obviously, that's not the ideal. We're hoping to draw uh, one of our 1-1 Flyers. Or the Raid. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like mulliganing that opening seven, though, but... Slight punishment. Forest, forest. Ooh, they have the green shrine. Now I'm really glad I kept the clawing torment, because... Well, actually, I don't need to kill that yet. No, now that I think about it, we have the specialist, so it's probably just better to let them invest mana into the shrine and then bounce it eventually. Oh, they're not even bothering, it looks like. Well, there's Tatsunori. Oh, and we have... And we have the enchantment again. Okay. Oh, is this a ninja? Oh, I didn't even realize that was a ninja. Ooh, the hot springs is really good. 
Okay, but that's going to be our Clawing Torment target. So we're going to put a 1-1 counter on that thing. Wow, we're drawing perfectly. So now we get to go like this. Make a 3-3. Three, three. What is this ability? And this makes it so they're both unblockable. Alright, well then we're just going to shoot this and attack for 6. This is like disgusting mulligan to 5. We just bounce whatever their not ne next blocker is, hit him for 9. <laughs> yep, we're not blocking here. We don't want to give him a card, and the one extra damage is, is more relevant. Oh, do they have the 6-5 ninja? That'd be kind of gross. Oh. That's, well, that's not the 6-5, but that's still pretty good for them. Okay. Good beats. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I think... I think I'm just gonna rebounce it. Let them draw a card, but hit him for 9. Jeez. What a gross mulligan to five. Mm-hmm. So they go back up to ten. Yeah. Sure. What does this do? Crew two. Exile it and a million other artifacts, whatever. Okay. Oh, wow. That's so freaking good, too, on my specialist. But let's just make these both unblockable. Say go. Put him to the test. Holy moly. Yeah, this was... <laughs> I mean, if the opponent had a removal spell for, like, my Silver Fur Ninja, or Silver Fur Master or whatever, then that game would have been a lot harder. But for a mulligan to five, I guess it was, uh, it was a good thing I mulliganed that opening seven, because... Damn. I did draw, like, perfectly. but Our deck is perfect, so... I guess that is how you draw perfectly. This all started with, what, pick one, pack one, the hacker, which isn't even that good of a card. Or at least there were better cards in the pack over the hacker, and then we got past the master, and from there it was just gravy. Yeah, 4-0 start. Let's go. Congrats to the Rams for winning the bowl, that was super. It's actually a pretty close game. I guess it'll be the day after when this gets uploaded, but... You know how it goes. Alright, this hand's insane. Let's get the raid online, turn one. And maybe we just run this out on turn two. Probably will. Ooh. Spicy. I don't want to put my Silver Fur Master in range of a burn spell, though. I assume they're just going to Volted Surge or something. No. 
Hunter's good. Right, so. Hmm. I think I'm going to torment and pass. Start getting the ticks online. Flash out the hover bike. That's annoying. Because if I tap that, then they get to uh, scry one. Hmm. Um. But then I can go silver for an attack for four. I mean, this can already attack in. They can't block, so I can just. Ri eh. No. Let's just get in for two. We don't need to flash in the hover bike. Oh, actually. I can go Silver Fur Master here. Attack for three. And then Ninjutsu for two. Bounce the Puzzle Maker. Nice. Sad that I don't get to replay the raid this turn, but obviously that was really good for us. Ooh, three colors. Terrarium. Hmm, they must have like a Kakami flare in their hand. Or maybe they're just gonna make a 3-1 with the Terrarium. Yeah, that's absolutely what they're gonna do. Let's go main phase, tap the 3-1, hit for 5, play the raid, ping them for 1, then on their turn they're going to get pinged for another one. And then we're going to go for the kill. We are going to crew the hover bike. Assuming they don't play a flyer here. Crew the hover bike. Smack in. And that is GG's. Alright, good game. Doesn't fly, does it? No. Yeah, I mean... We are just doing very dirty things with this deck. <laughs> We are just doing extremely dirty things with this deck. I almost feel bad. Almost. I certainly don't mind. I'm due for a due for a crush. 5-0 start certainly not shabby. Um Yeah. So, this is what happens when you draft a good ninja deck, if you were wondering. Mm -hmm. I think now I've done about 70-ish... Not 70-ish, sorry, 30-ish drafts of this format. And I'm starting to to get a feel for it a little bit more. That is to say, I'm I didn't like it initially. Um, as far as gameplay was concerned, but now I'm coming around to it a little bit more. I mean, I always enjoy new sets when they first come out. Right? It's just something fresh and new to do. But uh Couldn't really get a feel for it. But I think I've I think I've determined uh, that it is, in fact, a playable format. All right, we are on the draw here. Hand looks decent. Got the enchantment for the uh, Tatsunari. Once again, we're just going to run out the 1-1 flyer for one. 
set up for future ninjutsus. I think I had, what, eight enchantments in the deck total? So. Ooh, speaking of. Normally I would run out the raid just to get it online as soon as possible, but we don't we don't have our second black source for embrace. So let's hold the raid for post uh post frog rider, toad rider. If I draw a swamp next turn, there's actually a good chance that I just run out circuit mender on turn three. And by doing so I can um play around removal, I can go. Toad Rider immediately into raid. He discarded our rest, so they are on three. Oh, that is a very good card. Yikes. Yeah, all right. Um, fortunately, they don't have a bunch of creatures on the battlefield right now. They might block the beetle. Yeah, I like it. The reason they're doing this is because they're so scared of ninjutsu. And I can get behind that. Since we didn't draw another black source, I'm actually going to go ahead and just run it, run it out. If they don't have a kill spell this turn, we get to play raid and make a 3-3. If they do, good beat, so be it. This flips into a 2-2. Two -two. That has a lot. So I'm going to need to draw a swamp pretty quickly, but... Looks like we're in an okay spot for now. We found a white shrine. <laughs> Ass. Perfect. All right. That's good for us. Let's slam this raid and get the trigger from the Tatsunari right now. Right there for one. Land and smack in for four. And then we will mend it up. Alright, so there's their white source. They're cycling the greater Tanuki. There. All right, so they can maybe ba make a big creature this turn. Depending on how much, like if they just play the shrine, they're not gonna be able to put that many counters on it. But yeah, we really wanna draw a swamp here. See, the raid's going to put them to 13. Alright, so they're going to play a huge... Are they going to just tap out for like 3, make it a 6-6 six, six reach? <laughs> yeah, they are. Alright. So, didn't find the swamp, but we did draw lethal exploit, which was fantastic. So, we can tap down the archer, exploit the remnant of the rising star, hit him for 9. And that should be good enough. I believe they're... yeah. Even with the shrine and a token, they're just dead on board. I activate the Tatsunari. I crew the uh, hoverbike with the mender or whatever. And then we have effectively four flying creatures attacking. Good beats. Didn't even need the Twisted Embrace. Holy moly. Man, I didn't realize how good the uh, Tatsunari is. This is the first time I've had it. Or I think it's the first time I've had it. 
And my gosh, is it easy to make. It's it's a th it's a two three threes for three X mana, right? It is not hard to cast an enchantment in this format. Like you don't need to go out of your way to put enchantments in your deck. So it's a three three for three. That uh, easily makes a free three three. Also, it gives itself and the three three. It creates evasion. So I'm not gonna say it's like a bomb. But it's top tier rare, it feels like. Anyway. One more, one more. Can we, uh... Can we convert a 7-0 one time, please? I would definitely feel good if we did. Come on, matchmaker. We're waiting more than we're playing. Games are shorter than the queue times here. Tawashi, the largest city in Kami... Oh, I didn't get to read it all. I'm waiting for my final boss. Who will be my 7-0 victim, or will they grant me... The pleasure of getting to play more. Because if you think about it, even if I lose, that just means we get to play more games with this wonderful deck. This well-drafted pick-one-pack-one hacker deck. Alright, final boss. It dug hard and long and decided... Gold Loki was the final boss. Is this a keep? I guess it is. It's not very good. I have much better hands, but we're on the draw, so hopefully we can find a little bit of action. Just like an enchantment for Tatsunari, or a cheaper ninjutsu off of the uh, Thousand Face Shadow would be good. Yeah, this is... This is not a good hand. It's fine, but it's not good. What's the frog's name? Kaimi? Kaimi? Legendary 3 3 phone. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice the life drain part, I guess. Oh, I guess there is a bigger payoff for uh, putting more enchantments in your deck. I mean, you don't want to put unplayable enchantments in your deck. Oh no, did we get a timeout here? Oh, that's awful. Man. Is this how we're gonna get seven wins on a free roll? That sucks. Boo! <laughs> Anticlimactic is that. I actually wanted to play with this deck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. We're back. The opponent took a game action. We might be in this yet. They play an Ink, Re Ink Rise Infiltrator. So, funny thing, Clawing Torment is terrible versus an opposing, um... An opposing, um... Ninja deck. Because, I mean, you can block and kill their creature. But if you want the Torment to live, they can just attack in and then ninjutsu the creature back, you know? Ooh! Alright, we got a real ninja deck! Fantastic. Let's, uh... Let's get the Long Reach of Night, get our 3-3 in. Okay. We're gonna have a game, because they can ninjutsu any creature for 4 mana now, so... I'm not blocking the Infiltrator next turn. Which means they might do some work on me, huh? They discard a Virus Beetle? Sure. Yep. Ship it in. Oh, well they didn't play a land, so it's gonna be a regular ninja then. 
maybe a hacker or something of their own. Yeah, specialist. So they can bounce the frog, and then I can play Clawing Torment and get another frog, I guess. Oh, they bounced Tatsunari. That is a surprise. Oh, baby. Okay. They discarded their ink after all. I could have attacked with uh, both creatures first, and if they block the 3-3, Specialist bounce their Specialist or something funny. And then, uh, like, Clawing Torment the Tatsunori, but... Oh! Alright! No, they're getting good value here. I dig it. No plays, though, huh? Oh, so this doesn't count as casting. Interesting. Well, what do I want to do here? I have too many good plays. Yeah, what was me? Too many good plays, right? All right, I think we're going to just attack for one. Ninjutsu in the hacker. And go for the card advantage. Draw a card. Nice. And then we're gonna go Tatsu into Torment. Make another 3 3. And we're gonna go ahead and play out the 1 1 since we have the uh, Shadow Walker. Our deck is so, so sick. And the nice thing is the flipped animus here just free roll blocks their 1-1 so we don't have to worry about the ninjutsu nonsense or killing the specialist. Oh, boo. I mean, that doesn't really matter. They're just kind of dead here. Alright, so let's... Oh, wait. I can... Three, four, five, six, seven. Can I kill them this turn? Three, six, seven, eight. No, not quite, right? Not quite lethal. I don't think there was a way I could have done it where I... So I could have ambushed uh, off of the shadow faced and then shadow faced something else, but sure, <laughs> doesn't matter. Our deck is just way too freaking good. Yep, there you go. Ooh, feels good to get a 7-0 back into the top 10 gamers. I mean, we already know I'm number one in the world. The number just isn't correctly accurate, but yeah, take a piece, or take a piece, take a look at this masterpiece. Um, I bet you the specialist wasn't supposed to be in the deck. Like, it, I had enough artifacts and whatnot, but I probably should have just gone for full-on synergy. Putting in, like, the suit up or whatever, the companion or the modern age, but man, that was, that was a nice one. Double Okiba raid, fantastic. Actually, did we ever draw a network disruptor? Maybe once? We drew the Thousand Face Shadow a ton, but yeah. Anyways, now you get to see the power of the Ninjutsu deck in this format if it is available and open. Um, I think this is a deck that you're going to fight over a lot, though. So if it's not open, um, you're going to end up with like a, a half-assed deck that you don't want. But yeah, 7-0 here. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you back tomorrow.